fallen angel. They are the Gelf and the Ghibelin power over mankind who were medieval rival parties at one time in Germany and Italy who told what the Papal and Roman empires to do back then. Broadly speaking, Guelphs tended to come from wealthy mercantile families, whereas the Ghibellines were predominantly those who, whose wealth was based on agricultural estates. But they were just two fake rivals, dividing and conquering. They were both Azazel and Samyaza. Underneath these families are the Cecile family, who are controlled by the powerful Jesuit family known as the Pallavicini, like Maria Camilla Pallavicini is far more powerful than King Charles III, for example. The Queen and Phil, uh, Prince Philip are totally subordinate to the Papal bloodline of the Breakspear family and their Jesuit UK headquarters at 114 Mount Street. Pallavicini funded Elizabeth I with an astronomical amount of money to fight the Spanish. That's how Azazel got control over Britain. David Rothschild married the Ad Aldo Brandini family by boinking Princess Olympia. This is how the Rockefellers accrued their wealth. The second most powerful man actually an entity, in the world is Henry Breakspear, who resides now in Macau, China. Many of the Papal bloodline heads now live in Asia and India because they see the power shift from the west to the east. It is argued they orchestrated this move after they bankrupted and exhausted the west resources. Although conjecture, it seems like a lot of work to move sides. The problem with the two demigods or watchers is that when Jesus rose from the dead, he took the keys of death. Samyaza and Azazel, or as you may know them as Baal and Molech, require blood sacrifice to gain power over man. They or any other fallen angel cannot kill or murder any man or woman on earth. They rely solely on man to kill for them. This is their weakness. If any of the bloodline families turn from their commands, they can only make a magical scene, but cannot hurt them. Just basically scare them into compliance. But the inbreds don't know this because Samyaza and Azazel keep them far away from this truth. I've named above the top five families. Here is the true list of the most evil families in the world. These families are part of the hierarchy of control to achieve the Tower of, Tower of Babel once again. House of Borgia, House of Breakspear, House of Samaglia or Samaglia, House of Orsini, House of Conti, House of Chigi, House of Colonna, House of Farnese, House of Medici, House of Gaetani, House of Pamp Pamphili, House of Este, and lastly, the House of Aldo Brandini. So to sum up, Lucifer is the all-seeing eye and his son is the capstone. They both dwell in another dimension called Hell or Hades. They are at the top of the strategically planned they are at the top and strategically planned all earthly activities for one goal, and that is a new world order. Samyaza and Azazel are his demigod earth rulers who report directly to Satan. As above, so below. Their families, Orsini and Breakspear, all possess the bloodline of Cain from the Cain and Abel story in Genesis. Cain was given a mark by God to deem him untouchable by other men. This mark is shrouded in the DNA and is guarded at all cost. Samyaza and Azazel do not have DNA and are fallen angels whom will live forever. They keep the bloodline safe and manipulate the goyim, that's us, DNA. The reason they do this is to make man after Satan's own image and remove Jesus's mark. Satan, formerly known as Lucifer, is not a man nor a woman. He has no reproductive organs. 
He's the strongest of all of the fallen angels. These three entities will live forever and trick man into obeying them. The top two families rule the top five. The top five rule the last eight. They are all kept secret and remain ghosts as they put the television actors as the front to escape any persecution. Now you know.